Let's look at women's singles now. Um, so... I think this might be the hardest event, Martin. I literally looked at this list of names and I was like, wow, how hard is it going to be to get into the A final of the women's singles? Yeah, well, um, let's look at the the sort of protagonists. Um, we've obviously got the last, the 2019 world champion, Puspura, who got beaten by the Russian sensation, Prakatsin. I still don't understand how she's so quick, but there we go. Um, she's obviously showed that in several regattas this season. Um, we've got Clara Kola, who finished second in Lucerne, mm -hmm. the bronze medalist from the 2019 Worlds. Uh, we've got um, Emma Twig, we haven't seen race from New Zealand, who was, was she the silver medalist in 2019? Um, yeah, I think so. Yes, silver yeah. medalist 2019. Emma Twig, um, yeah. And then uh, it's, we've got Carling Zeman, I don't know, from Canada that we've not seen at all, like, you know, Z Monster. Uh, Z Monster. <laughs> Z Monster. Yeah, she's been she's been struggling in and out with um, uh, with some rib injuries uh, earlier on in the season, and is coming back. You know, she is strong, uh, but again, you know, nothing. You know, I think it's going to be a competitive field. I think she'll be in the mix, but she's not a runaway favorite for uh, no. for gold medal. So it's a uh, again, you know, in you know in the mix the. The strongest athlete that we've seen over the World Cup series is you know, is the Russian, and you know, it would be, you know, who I should actually give a call to is my friend uh, Ben Rutledge, who coached the Russian women for a few uh, years, wow. and see if if because he he might have been exposed to her and you know have an inside scoop. But you know, a scholar can come on pretty quickly, mm. and you know this is you know this is the beauty of of sport. And um, I know there's been some rumors cycling around just because, you know, she comes out of Russia and Russian has the doping scandal and you want to keep your, um, you know, you want to keep your opinions high. And, but what I've saw within, within the, or what I've heard from uh, both Spracklin and Rutledge who worked within the Russian camp was the, the rowing camp was that there was, you know, there wasn't doping that was going on within the rowers. Cause as we know, Rowing's a poor spo sport, and yeah. there's a lot of there's an economics but, of <laughs> of doping, and so the rewards aren't great enough to go down that rabbit hole. Yeah, but I think it was poorly. I was sorry, Martin. I was going to say I think it was poorly timed for Prakatsin, unfortunately, and and coincidental that that story came out. Well, I say story that ban came out from what was it eight years ago now from the men's side um, that Russian boat that got. Um, their medals taken away from them. That story broke literally the week of the FOQR, I think, in the European oh, really? or something like that. It was very, very close. And so I think it was very fresh in mind um, that there was a rowing story of doping within the Russian camp. Yes, from, you know, six, seven, eight years ago. But it was, um, yeah, it was a timing kind of sensitivity, I suppose. But yeah, I think Prakatsin one of those stories that we were saying, right? Is that, is it, is it a training sort of cycle peak for her? And is it, has she already peaked during that Europeans or World Cup season? Or is she really that fast? You know, it's difficult yeah. to say. We well, haven't mentioned Victoria Thornley or Janine Gamelin yet. I mean, uh, Thornley will be aiming for the podium. Whether she's got enough pace to get there is, is, is a question which she'll have to answer in Tokyo. Janine Gamelin will be aiming for the A final, I guess, the former world champion. Sorry, I interrupted you, Adam. No, I was, um, yeah, I was just wondering where Thornley, but where's Thornley from? So from Brit, so she's Britain. she's Our the, double, color. the double skull from Rio that got the silver okay. medal, and the eight okay. in that got fifth in 2012. So she's got Olympic form. Okay. Um, she's very tall. She's got great levers. Um, she's got fantastic mid-course endurance. Just at, in the sprint for the line, she kind of, you know, might just want to have a bit more pace than she showed hitherto. Um, but, you know, um, like all, the, all the teams will come up and Britain's no exception to that. Yeah. I think we've also not mentioned Lobnig. 
from oh, cool. Austria. And yeah. we've also not mentioned the Chinese Sculler either that was just pipped out at the Second World Cup in Lucerne by Gamelin into the A-final. But it was less than 0 0.08 of a second, I think, separating those two into the A and B finals. So she's super strong. Um, so, yeah, I, I think there's, you know, 10 Scholars here that could be A-final contention. Well, we so, didn't even mention the American. Well, yeah, Carla. Yeah, Carla. Carla. And, uh, you know, as I look back, there's the Ukrainian too, um, Timchenko. Ah, she didn't qualify though, did she? I oh, she think. didn't? No. no. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, she didn't qualify. Um, she went to the FOQR and finished fourth, I want to say, behind yeah, the Japanese yeah. color. Yeah. Um, yeah, so a big name like Dimchenko not even qualifying is huge, isn't it? So let's go for our podium places in the women's singles. Mm -hmm. Who I should go first because I went last last time. So I'm going to say Puspura is going to come through. I'd say it was a first race. I'd say she's probably going to pick up speed if Cola beats her and she beat Cola comfortably at the Worlds in 2019. So I'm going to go Puspura. I'm going to go for gold, Hatson for silver. And, and they're really not to be much between those two scholars. And then Twig for bronze. First Olympic medal, I think that would be for Emma Twig. Yeah. Who wants to go next? Yeah. Well, I'd like to, I think I'm going to put Perspera in the mix. Um, let's put her at the top of the podium. Uh, they, uh, Perspera, it's the Russians. Russians haven't had much. Let's give them something. Russians. And then um, Perspera from Ireland, obviously very strong. Um, has been showing uh, yeah, that she's in the mix. Uh, the So let's put her... Yeah, I'll put her at silver, and then I'm going to throw the Canadian in at bronze. I've got uh, good hopes for. Uh, for Whoa! The Z Very yeah. patriotic of Very you. Patriotic. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm standing behind the Z monster. Yeah, uh, she's going to love that. What about yeah. you, Camilla? Uh, um, I think I'm going to put Sunita for a gold. I really back her. I think that first race back, she was just even pleased to be on the podium, and I think she's got more to come. I then think. <sighs> I then think the Russian, I think Prakatsin, and then I'm going to back Kara Kola, I think, to be on the Ooh, podium. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah. Okay, so that's our women's singles. 